Hello everybody, welcome back to Language Litigation and Integration Part 63, another day, another dumb fuck. Probably could have put that as a YouTube title, so I had to do dot dot dot, but another dumb fuck. Um, some political commentary today, a bunch of talking points, let's start with some famous quotes, I've been hearing a lot more of illiteracy. It's really amazing, like, like just truly how, how bad everyone's failed at raising their kids, how bad everyone's failed as individuals. Just like having responsibility, being competent. A couple monkeys get a cell phone, get a little bit of money, and they think they can help people, and they can't. You can remember, I have, I have no constitutional rights. Yeah, I'm up to 36 subs now. Again, I did a $105 million special for 35 subs. $5 million for every subscriber I have once I get paid, for real. So I think I'm probably one of the most philanthropic YouTubers out there. 100 million bucks for 35 subs. I'm being for real as fuck. Um, but, and then I have a bunch of notes from Core Cam, um, like, like, just casual conversation, nothing, nothing super specific on this episode, but I just wanted to, again, more insecurities as a scapegoat, things that I cannot get out of my head because I have no personal identity because I will not get paid money. I cannot feel like a human being because I'm being tortured, and it's just fucking true. And people get used to it. People get used to anything, including learning from somebody they're stealing from, torturing, and then they say, well, think of the kids, think of my family, think, think of... Think, oh, well, it's not my responsibility. In every world government, fuck, you, fuck your disgusting fucking countries and your disgusting fucking families. I said it once, I'll say it a hundred times, I'll say it till the day that I fucking die, that is your legacy. But some more famous quotes, again, just absolute butt-fucking trash Americans. Um, are you taking, this is, again, I haven't heard from a cop in a while, because, again, they won't let me report crime, but they also won't let me, they won't enforce the law, so it's just kind of this nice standstill of Elaine Bryant. Just again, just flicking her dirty pussy lips, stealing some money. She's on like her third husband or some shit, can't hold down a relationship, and just don't have a family. Like that, that's the main point of this video, another day, another dumb fuck, is most people should not have children. Absolutely most people should not have fucking children. We're at a point in time when human beings cannot behave, and people learn body language. Regardless of the words out of your mouth, if you hoard around you were 30 and 35, you have done more damage on this planet than good by a fucking lot, and you just can't accept it. Sandra Schaefer, again, who's harassed me multiple times, she won the Cop of the Year in 2018, again, right after people learned they just tortured another human being. They give one of the criminals a fucking award to make her that dyke butch cunt feel better about herself. Even when she's a terrible cop, you're probably one of the worst cops that has literally ever walked on this planet. But your, your monkey-ass chain of command is going to give you some, some pats on the back to make you feel better about being a disgusting bitch. I'm pretty sure I saw her on the fucking news, and everybody's still living in Columbus, Ohio, actively trying to leave. But I saw her on the news again, you know, doing another, like, self-defense class at OSU, and, like, getting the typical you weirdo, like, yeah, come on, go, and just, like, someone, like, fucking wrestling or something. But, yeah, scream really loud, Cassandra, you're doing so good, you're helping so many people. Again, what are you? Are you trans, or are you just a fucking dyke cunt? I just need to know so I can know, get your pronouns correct. I'm still trying to get your pronouns correct. But, again, her has harassed me multiple times, will absolutely spend motherfucking time in prison. Every commanding officer that gives me one fucking word will go to prison as well. The first thing I want anyone watching this to do is, again, I know, I know no, one, no one believes anything I say, even though everyone's speaking my words. Imagine a cop going, Bill Kosinski, Cassandra Schaefer, Michael Jameson, my, the lawyer that's harassed me at my fucking home, that's violated my fourth con constitutional rights. Imagine going to the courthouse and yelling at a judge. Imagine hanging up on a judge. A lot of my notes from the court camp, I do have some of those, I'll see if I'll read through those today. Mainly just about the role of a judge. And again, every, every elected judge, nobody knows one fucking clue who they are, they're just privileged fucks. And then the prestige of the, the chambers. Fancy stock cards, and then the one thing judges can do is court orders, and they refuse to do so. So every federal judge that I've interacted with in any capacity whatsoever, just, just get in line to go to fucking prison. Full sentences. When I sue you, I'm not coming for your money. I'm coming to criminally prosecute you or put you to zero financially because <laughs> I don't need your money. There is no amount of dollar figures from any broke piece of shit that I need a dollar bill from. <laughs> when you sue world governments for violating your constitutional rights at the cost of a renaissance, the, the, not a renaissance, the fucking foundational knowledge of human beings, there's no bound way anyone can pay me. This is just not possible. So the reason I'm going to sue these people is because you're criminals and you need punishment. It's facts. It's fucking facts. But, again, this bitch, in one of our conversations, again, she literally, like, like signed me up to, like, have a meeting. Like, like she has some sort of 
fucking authority over me. But she signed up for a meeting, and the only thing I'm trying to do is collect my property to leave. But there's not one disgusting family that has benefited from Ohio State University that will not side with the cult. Smith, oh, it's you Buckeyes to team up north. They just can't get over that because they're worthless families. Every bit of their pathetic lives where they never made real relationships, never made real memories, they just cheer really loud at a fucking football game. And so OSU is just an unbreakable cult past that. Academia is an unbreakable cult past that. World governments are an unbreakable cult. And they will harass me at my home boldly, right, right in front of my face. Like my old neighbor, get to, get to this story, my old neighbor Adam, quote word for word, in person, directly talking about my research, clearly, clearly taking a paycheck to fucking watch me all day. Why are you still doing this? In reference to like starting businesses. Because I still don't have financial security, Adam, and I still need to pay my fucking bills. I saw you had two young kids, you know, eight to 13, 14. If they are stealing my fucking research, they are going to be fucking sued. Anybody over the age of eight, 12 stealing from me is going to face criminal punishment or juvenile punishment proportional to the fucking fraud, to the theft. But why are you still doing this? Because I need to feel safe. I, I don't understand how I have to defend that with 150 lectures. I just need someone to pay me my money so I can feel safe. It is literally impossible. The United States government will murder its own citizens. The citizens will murder its own citizens. Every political commentator won't report the news. Every fucking newscaster won't report the fucking news because they don't feel responsibility. And the instant that it, any, any sense of threatening their professional life, which would be hilarious, it would be way better if you were my friend, well, they're going to back off and we'll look at this weird Brad guy. 28 years old, going on 29, and an absolute, complete fucking scapegoat. Cassandra Schaefer signs me up to again come into the police department because they don't mind torturing me. They don't mind violating every law they do. I'm currently watching the show uh, The Wire, and I'm doing a full breakdown just like it's Breaking Bad. But it's hilarious watching cops operate. Just absolutely fucking hilarious. The dirtiest, trashiest profession on this fucking planet. And you guys can't do anything. She signs me up for this thing because I'm trying to collect my property, and I can already tell she's going to let me sit in there, get, get a free historical interaction with Brad, the smart guy, and then tell me that she can't pay me. Cassandra Schaefer and every one of your commanding officers are going to go to jail for it. Again, there's not going to, I'm not going to settle. This is not me trying to get some money out of some people. I want you fucking criminals to be fucking punished, and you fucking will be. But, but... Again, I get furious at her. And again, she's the cop. She can shoot me anytime she wants. There was just another Columbus police officer, or at least Ohio cop, indicted for just shooting somebody in the back. And so this is, this is murder people. The Columbus Police Department is just a fucking murder rampage. But after I, after I, again, I get just absolutely fucking livid. And besides literally inciting violence, you send me obituaries and I will celebrate every dead cop. Every fucking worthless fucking officer that got murked in the line of duty. I looked some of them up, just, there hasn't been enough. I want to throw a party for each and every single one of them. The world was better with them dead and fucking gone. And again, in zero ways, that an incitation of violence. But again, I can't... These people can literally threaten me and actually fucking shoot me, and I can't even get mad. And Elaine Bryant is, again, bimbo bitch on her second or third fucking husband, can't hold down a relationship, can't have a fucking strong fucking family life. She's an absolute fucking bimbo. But that's the chief. Chief, you call yourself chief around me, you better know how to fucking behave you. Facts are facts, acts are acts, evidence is evidence. Do your thing, CPD. Just keep running around murdering people. That's all you guys do. She says to me, "Are you taking the services? Are you are you taking advantage of the services available to you? Meaning like suicide hotlines? I'm not suicidal or depressed. I don't have constitutional rights. Who enforces that? The law. When the local law enforcement don't do that, who do you go to? The federal law enforcement." Clears belt. Clears belt. What constitution? The one where you guys get paid. That one. But again, every law enforcement, I hope you guys get shot in the stomach so you can at least bleed out for a little bit and just see how many disgusting decisions you've fucking made. Fuck 12 in every single fucking way as a judge. As a fucking law man. Fuck every dirty fucking cop who can't contribute. If you can't modify five literally world constitutions, with mathematical proofing, sit down, shut the fuck up, and know your place, you dumb boots. Are you taking the services available? Like, again, you know, like suicide hotline, like, like, just, I don't, like, I don't know, like talking. And again, Peng, Sh not the, not, not her, the Naomi Park, the the North the North Korea escapee that that laughs when you say, "Do I need counseling?" I've literally been to counselors, and they do the same thing, project shit on me, and I don't need to talk to anybody. I need my money. 
nine years on this planet of every single moment of every single day waking up, how do I make money? And the answer was everything but respect the law and it's Brad's fault past that. Family, friends, community, government, world governments, everybody. Whenever I get rights, when I read constitutional rights, Dave Rubin says, I'm just trying to survive the revolution. This is not a revolution. This is enforcement of treason. If you behave like shit, if you murdered a fucking orphanage and then you didn't murder somebody for one year, you're still a fucking murderer. I can only say the same correct thing so many fucking times. Humanity is completely fucking broken. And it's, there's, you can point the finger, it's all the fucking older people and all the broken fucking people who can't behave on the news and everybody. But are you taking available the services to you? Again, uh, uh, coming from a literal law enforcement officer refusing to do her job. Um, the next one is uh, another just one from the, again, these are conversations, uh, just other random quotes. I've talked about these people a bunch. Bill Kosinski, you still, you're living rent free in my brain because, again, you're a criminal, you're abusive, you're fraudulent, you are negligent, you have no ethical behavior holding a gun or being a sergeant. And, and I just want to see this look on these people's, people's faces when they actually realize that I'm the, the most accomplished intellectual ever and everything their children are learning and speaking every single time. I, I actually have an infinite H index. People cannot structure sentences without quoting me or citing a logical demonstration that is literally on someone's desk at the same fucking time. But Bill Kosinski says to me, you know, all these times about calling into MSRI, which again, fuck, fuck Dave Paletta, my old fucking friend. The fact that you, that you teach mathematics to, at this point in time, man, I fucking hope you go to fucking prison. I'm going to do everything I can to say fuck you professionally. Everything I can, David Paletta. You goddamn shitty fucking criminal. You're not a musician and you're not a mathematician. But I'm, again, I'm calling into MSRI every single day wondering why, why can't someone pay me my money from a, a guy worth $17 billion and I can't start a family because of it. The, most, the thing that causes me to rest is say, how do I start a family? I need to get around new people. To get around new people, I need to have financial freedom. To have financial freedom, I need to be able to make income. Nope. People, people will come to my door and harass me in five seconds. But Bill Kosinski goes to me, oh, I know some, I, again, another emphatic you. I know something about you, Brad. Again, and then he says, do you know how to type an email? Because again, I'm literally at this point, I've, I'm, I'm sending him a $500,000 offer to have a conversation. Bill Kosinski, it is now a million dollars notarized contractual offer for a converse, for a lecture, for a musical performance, or for publication of one thing that I have done on any meaningful media outlet. Once. So, I know something about you, Bill Kosinski. You can't raise your trashy fucking kids. You can't raise your fucking children. What kind of women, or, and again, Cassandra Sha Shaver's a dyke bitch, what kind of women fuck these people? Like, well, what values? Again, cops are mostly Republicans, law people, and then they're just flatly hypocritical. But what, what dirty cunts, whores, would ever marry somebody like this? So shout out to your spouses if you have one, hope you don't. Yeah, Bill Kosinski's got a wife and some kids. I bet you're broke as fuck and can't make a million dollars with constitutional rights, you lazy fucking animal. Bill Kosinski, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you're gonna go to prison for as long as possible. Do you know how to type an email? Do you know how to do anything besides shoot your gun and murder people and jerk off to the constitution you don't enforce? Another, the, the, the honorary politician of today, the title of this video, another day, another dumb fuck. This is, this is for Tom Cotton for the Senate. Can I literally, again, I literally turn on the TV and within three seconds I hear someone like literally reciting one of my arguments incorrectly. But the first thing I hear of the today when I turn on TV is Joe Biden and, and his, again, I don't even know what the context was, but it was literally Joe Biden and his unconstitutional mandates. I mean, clearly talking about the vaccine. But that was Tom Cotton of the Senate any politician or law enforcement lying on biological direct orders are, in, are insubordinate. You will go to prison for as long as I can possibly send you there. And pass that again without inciting violence. I don't send me your obituaries. I will genuinely celebrate them. Please stop having children because you do not know how to raise them. And again, this little shrimp ass, you know, illiterate fuck from the cell. Yeah, well, I can't even speak correctly. You know, half of us are inbred here. I don't know if it's Alabama or Louisiana, but half of, us, half of us is inbreds. You know, we fuck our cousins and shit, so like, yee-haw. We like our freedoms. I like freedoms. Tom Cotton probably likes the freedom to fuck his cousins. Yee-haw. You know, cousin Susie's got that big, big wagon back there. Shit. Yeah. 
But again, if you run this, oh my god, like I, and I don't want to do this stuff. The this only reason this shit fires me up is because people like Tom Cotton are the reason I cannot have a family. This dirty fuck, I'm sure he has like whore after whore after whore that would love to marry him because he's an illiterate Republican and that somehow strikes some of his values. And ben Shapiro should probably suck off Tom Cotton. I really think, I think Tommy Lorraine, I, I'm still waiting on the Tommy Lorraine AOC tape. Um, Tom Cotton and, Bill, and Ben Shapiro should probably suck each other off how fucking stupid they are. I heard Ben Shapiro today call him abortion murder. Nope. Murder implies killing another independent sentient human being. Not, not murder, so again, but that's what lawyers do. Ben's an attorney and a political commentator. He just lies. Every single one of his videos, ad, ad, ad. Here's ExpressVPN, here's some fucking rate cons. I make $500,000 a month lying. And that's what's your legacy, Ben. To Ben Shapiro's children, please never listen to your father or your horrible fucking mother. I heard she's a doctor, so medical doctor, I'm sure another, if you just arrogant cunt, the wife and arrogant Ben, just I'm sure it makes a great family dynamic. So Ben Shapiro's kids, never listen to their, your dirty fucking parents, listen to me. Do the right thing when the right thing presents itself. And the right thing is not to listen to your fucking incompetent, valueless fucking parents. <laughs> but again, I've said it a thousand times, biological laws is the fucking, in, the real laws. It's the fucking real shit. And people just don't fucking care so they can get a, so Tom Cotton can sit on CNBC and feel like he's doing something. Again, they put these monkeys, these beta male fucking cunts in a place of power and they're going to uh, 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 try to authorize, assert that any chance they get. Forget all of that shit. Biologically. Knowledge comes from somewhere. You can't say shit you don't know. Everyone is literally just bouncing my ideas off of one another because they don't know how to fucking accept what my life is. <laughs> but every politician, every law enforcement, you are going to prison. Full sentence is not one fucking conversation. We're living in anomaly. CBC anchor, I forget which one. Maybe at the Domino, Don Chu, maybe David Favor. I don't know. Maybe Tim Seymour. I don't know. But. At the same time, I know something about you. We're living in anomaly. Yep, cool beans. <laughs> um, just going through some talking points. Insanity, incapable defense, just basically saying contempt of court. These are all cases of court cam, but again, I don't have the whole case, just the ideas written down. But insanity or incapable of defense, I've talked about it a little bit, should never be acceptable. Um, I don't remember under oath when they clearly fucking do is treason. And so this is what I'm talking about when like, people don't do this and won't lie. Because if you're a real fucking criminal and you get caught, you'll do the fucking time and you, you know, not, well, you defend yourself. You, 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 overall, people would admit to crimes more because it's, it is kind of like the right thing to do. It's not even the right thing to do. It, this gets more into like how sentencing, again, the rehabilitation problem that I don't really have a great understanding for. But as a judge and as a prosecutor, I, I don't remember it's not acceptable when they clearly do and they're fucking lying. I mean, it's, yeah, I swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So lying under oath at least would be a profoundly more severe crime in any real historical or meaningful manner. Um, but the judge, there's been all the times no outbursts, and all both both of the attorneys just shut shut, shut the fuck up. You can't be in, in contempt of court unless you torture somebody for 20 years, and then you just be in contempt of court every single day. And just... Dave Rubin also said that, I remember he said trying to survive a revolution, but Dave Rubin, I also remember when, when you first again started learning about me and committed a bunch of fucking crimes, and now everyone's just like thinking I'm going to be a nice guy about it, the longer you neglect me, the worse the fucking charges are going to get. And he said, you know, maybe I, we were thinking about shutting things down. Dave Rubin, you really should have shut things down, because I hope another, this past four or five years of making a little bit of money matters, because you're going to prison. Have a nice day, faggot. Um, forgiving criminals for substantial crime is pathetic. Like I saw like a murder thing, and like the the dude wants to hug the hug the murderer, and it's just like supposed to be like so like again like they showed so much resolve and character that they want to hug the murderer, and it's evidence of absolute patheticness. I mean, you might not want to cut the person's head off, but hugging them and saying it's all kumbaya is weird. It's weird to me. So another one with a murder case where the dad like got mad. And, you know, the family's like, don't do that, don't do that, you're going to be in contempt of court, you're going to go to prison. No, this is, this is the evidence of biology, man. This is why you need to fucking have, if a murderer knows that they're going to be treated with respect and have no sort of savagery involved, it's a lot less deterrent than to know, well, if I go kill somebody, well, their whole family can sit me in a room for five minutes and do whatever the fuck they want. Oh, oh, but no, I'm just going to get arrested and go get, you know, have due process and, and live a wonderful fucking life. 
People still have basic de decency in, in, in jail. When you're a scapegoat, you have no decency. This is failure of the court systems. But you should be allowed to get mad. Absolutely. Whether you're reading a fucking court statement. <laughs> I commented on something before the Tyrone Woodley and Jake Paul fight, and it was just some sort of like sit down interview, and it was just like trash talk, trash talk. But like right to their faces, the little moderator was right there letting it go. That's how court should be. And on severe crimes like murders and shit, it should not be like super polite. Polite society does not fucking exist. Um, a judge can reject a plea agreement. Um, I saw a case where the, there was some plea agreement. There was a 17-year-old that shows no remorse for a gang killing. The, he says he wants to say something in the court because um, he has a plea agreement on the table. He gets up in front of the room and says, I'll be home soon, R.I.P. Keon. You know, she shouts out his gang members. And then he gets surprised when the judge says he's going to throw out the, the plea agreement, then apologizes. Um, I'm not sure what, what ended up with this case, but I love it. A judge can say, no, this is not an, a, an acceptable enforcement of the law. I totally agree. But I thought it was profound that, again, some dumb, arrogant cunt would get up in front of a courtroom and be like, yeah, shout out to my homies, shout out to the gang, 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 gang. Again, I don't even have what happened with the case, but again, I would not. I would, if someone did that, I would throw. I would throw out the plea agreement. You know, and say, "Fuck everybody, go to jail." Full sentence. Another monkey in the pen. Who cares? Um, I saw a police officer on Super Heist about throwing away a criminal. Say, "Oh well, Cassandra Schaefer, when you go to prison, oh well, Bill Kosicki, when you go to prison and can't see your kids, oh well, oh, uh, not my problem." Again, coming from somebody who's done more, been more disciplined for the past 20 years of my life than you people could ever fucking imagine, and you're gonna uh, planting evidence for cops and criminals is extremely illegal, especially for fucking cops. But again, this is coming from a judge. Again, I know I'm not, and I'm not allowed to be anything. AOC is the youngest person elected to the Senate. Adele's dropping her fourth studio album. You can't fucking sing. I've dropped like eight albums, and I keep just dropping shit. And nothing ever fucking happens. But uh, the, the the court cam thing was like a dude was literally, literally in court trying to like like flings like a bag of coke behind his back and tries to like say look that guy had cocaine on him and it's clearly on fucking camera. I don't know that was funny. I was like what a fucking retard. Um, another thing, escape. I saw should should there's a lot of countries I didn't look it up, but there's a lot of countries that don't punish criminals more for wanting to escape. Well, that was an interesting idea. I just have escape, should be punished. It depends. It depends on, again, the severity of the crime, the rescindance, I guess. If they go out and do more dumb shit, if they go out and hide, I don't really think that's more. It's kind of like the prison's job to keep them in there. So, again, if law, again, law enforcement can't do their job, well, just punish the fucking victim or the criminals more. Just punish them more. Cassandra and Bill, never do your fucking job. Elaine Bryant, never do your job. Just blame somebody else. Go shoot another guy in the back. That's what you guys do the best. Um, I have lashing out in court for first degree murder and mutilation. Again, just another one where I think people should absolutely be able to get livid, get primitive, and do whatever the fuck you want. Um, increasing, there was this one where uh, their sentence was increased for contempt. It went from 30 days to 365 days, and ends up getting 93 days. And in this one, like the, like the, I think the, this is, this is, I didn't, this was like a, a judge getting offended. It was like, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna show me disrespect. If you're not imminently threatening my life, you can show me whatever disrespect you want in terms of words, verbs. Say this about that. Say this about my family. Say that about my family. I will, don't care at all. <laughs> I couldn't possibly, couldn't possibly fucking care. If you ain't gonna do shit, I don't give a fuck who the, what the fuck you're saying. But he, the, the sentence was 30 days. He had the ability to get 365 days, and the, and the convict got 93 days. Again, for showing a little bit of verbal disrespect to the judge. And I thought those atrocious judicial rulings or behavior. Again, because I don't have the specific case or the court numbers or the doc documents or whatever. But it was just, again, a, a judge getting a little bit offended about some choice words from a, from a convict. But this is the world you live in. Forget all the law, the judge, the, the lawyers, the law enforcement. 8% maturity level throughout this whole species biologically and psychologically. Doesn't matter what job you take, you're just going to pump insecurity into whatever worthless fucking thing you're doing in your life. Um, that's most of the talking points, at least for the law. Um, I do want another quick, just a quick add-on to the story I told 
about my cousin, about, remember I said I was, you know, a cousin says, you know, I know all about your shit, like literally disrespecting my entire existence of life. And I just start screaming, fuck you. The guy, the guy, got, the guy drives by in the van, no idea what's going on, screaming, wow. And then my cousin's husband, Steve, he also tries to calm me down. And again, there's a point in life when you're allowed to get angry. There's a point in life when you're allowed to get excited. There's a point in life when you're allowed to be sad. There's a point in life when you're allowed to be happy. Pathetic people that have been privileged their whole lives, all they know is fake happiness. Oh, you're doing well? Oh, you're still going on walks? Oh, you're still exercising? Oh, does your mental health matter? Well, yours doesn't. Because, well, no one cares. No one's going to help you. My whole family does this shit. <laughs> but, so I'm just walking back and just living like, again, how do I leave? Like, this is, we have 7.8 billion people on this planet and none of them can behave and none of them will enforce the law. None of them. I'm not, I'm not sad. I'm abandoned. I'm neglected to the point of profound and extensive torture. That is what is occurring in Brad's life. So shout out to all the people, whenever you watch this video, if you've ever learned something from me, besides, literally besides inciting violence, I don't give a fuck about anybody. I just don't. Because again, I was, I'm a true scapegoat. This, a planet of apes decided I was allowed to suffer because other people cannot fucking grow up. But my, Susan's, Susan's husband, Steve, yeah, I'm literally sitting in my car, and again, because they come from a place of like, I used to respect them. I was their real friend. But it's a one-way relationship. They were never friends to me. They just used me when it was easy and convenient. And he gets in my car, and he's again trying to calm me down. And I'm just like, you have no fucking clue what's going on, man. Get the fuck out of my face. Because remember, my family decides what my life is behind my back when it's not even like at the, at the starting point of what my life actually is. And, and he goes to me, quote, I had an abusive father, so don't tell me what abuse is. Steve, man, never fucking speak to me again. Your children are stealing my research. These are my first cousins. Steve, your children are stealing my fucking research at school. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know if you've met the, the Boas family, buddy, but I've been abused and neglected since I've been fucking born. And it hasn't stopped. <laughs> you don't, you don't, so you don't tell me what abuse is. God damn it, man. I'll, I'll spit in your fucking face. i punch you. Don't speak to me like that. I'll tell your children to be thankful that I'm teaching them. Um, any other stories? I really want to keep this one about law today. America's dumb. I mean, this is just humanity. It's an embarrassment. It's not even, people, my own family. If anyone's watching for my family, this is not distress. This is not. This is me documenting crime, and I can't live. Again, I've dropped eight fucking albums. Adele, Adele can't sing. Hey, Adele, you can't fucking sing. Billie Eilish, I've seen you. You've been making music for five years. I've been making music for four years. Neither you dumb fucking bimbo bitches can fucking sing. But enjoy it. celebrity culture. That's a, 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 a random converse, casual conversation. Celebrity culture is so disgusting. So selfish and so fucking disgusting. And anyone accepting any music awards or science awards, fuck your fucking children. Just fuck them. Again, legally, legally, just, just, I'm allowed to free speech. I'm allowed to talk what I think. I would like to live my life at some point and it's not going to happen because other people cannot behave. So again, I got a couple more stories. I may do one more story episode. It's nothing super like in line with the talking points. Maybe wanted to just get famous quotes again about that I can't get out of my head. Right? It's so a saying: people are living rent free in your head because I'm being tortured. Like I can only say I'm being tortured until people stop torturing me. When you're being tortured, it's other people's behavior. And Bruce Almighty, I can't make you change. Can't control your free will. Can't do anything. I will never be able to start a family while everybody else just literally lies about, again, commits literally fucking treason, fraud, heresy, blasphemy, literally as it fucking happens. So, to the average American, to the average human being, to the average family out there, to the future, your families, what they have done on this planet is neglected science, arrogantly spread their own insecurities, and fucking killed people. That is the fucking... Legacy of humanity besides Brad, this guy right here. Everybody else that sympathizes are so selfish and incompetent, they can't care and they don't feel responsibility. So, another day, another dumb fuck. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to live my life. I don't know. See you on the next episode.